Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In the past, I've done numerous videos demonstrating how to change the color of something in Lightroom. It was a relatively easy thing to do, even though it was a multi-step process. Now, with the new masking tools that are available in Lightroom, it's even easier. For example, we have this red Ferrari. I want to change the color of the car. To do that, I'm going to open up the masking tools and I'm going to select the subject. And you'll see that I get a red overlay on the subject. And you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, um, we just need to change the body color. We don't want to change the color of the tires or the license plate and other things. Well, the cool thing about this is it will only change the color of things that are already have color, meaning if something is black or white or gray, it's not going to add any color to it. It's only going to change the color of color. So if I come in here and I go to the hue slider and I start moving it, you'll see we're changing the color of the car. So let's get this kind of ugly green. Now you're probably looking at it and you're saying, well, we still have a problem here because the Ferrari logo color changed and these little Ferrari logos that are on the tires changed as well. And we don't want to change the color of those. We just want to change the color of the car. Well, that's when we'll go up here and we'll click on subtract and we're going to get a brush. Now with the brush, we'll just paint on this area here. So we're getting that logo back in yellow and over here and then the logo up here as well. And I'll just do this real quick. Typically, I would probably zoom in and make sure I got just the logo. But as you could see, then I could come in and now when I change color, you could see I changed the color. And this little part here is like the brake caliper. And that is actually a part of um, the body. Meaning if I turn off this um, mask totally and we go back to the original color of the car, you could see that that brake caliper is the color of the body. So when I turn this back on and we're actually changing the color of um, the vehicle, we want to change that color as well. So that's how you change the color of something that is obviously the subject in the image. So you could just select the subject and change the color and just use a minus brush to take away where you don't want any color change to occur, like I did on the wheels and on the Ferrari logo here. What if you have an image that has like a lot of different color and you don't want to change the color of the entire subject like this person, you just want to change a single color. Let's say I just want to change the color of this like pinkish red squares that are on her shirt. Well, again, I'll go to the masking tools, but this time I'm going to click on color range. And when I do that, I'll get an eyedropper tool. All I need to do then is click on the color I want to change, which will be those squares. When I click there, you'll see I'll get a red overlay on all of those squares. Now I could tease that overlay here with this refine slider. If I move it to the right, it will start going outside of that specific color and affect other colors that are near that color. If I go to the left, it will just kind of refine it further so it's only catching those colors. I'll leave it on the default number of 50. So we're changing the colors of those pinkish red squares that are on our shirt. And you can see it's just affecting those. It's not affecting the blue squares that are adjacent to those squares, just those pinkish red squares. It's not affecting her face or her eyes or her hair, anything like that. Now, if it were, if for example, let's say she had, um, uh, pinkish red lipstick on and it was affecting that then we would get a minus brush and just paint over her lips. And we just click on subtract, a subtract brush, I should say. So that's really the tools you'll need to change the color of just about anything in Lightroom. And it's even easier to do now because of the new masking tools. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.